Hey everyone, first off, as you can see, my beard is gone, and that is very sad to me. But in better news, today I'm finally going to bring you a dedicated video of my desk. A few of you have asked where I got my desk, uh, and I actually did do a video back in January where I briefly showed the desk in one of its main features, uh, but that's back when my following was quite a bit smaller, uh, and so I figured that since people were asking about it, I would just do a dedicated video of the desk so that in the future, if anyone does ask about it again, I can just point them to the video and they can check it out. Also, I've been meaning to do the cable management on my desk for a while now. As you can see below my desk, it's quite a bit of a mess and it's kind of annoying to have all those cables on there and I've been putting it off for far too long. Uh, so today I'm gonna show you the desk, tell you where I got it, go over some of its details, and then at the end of the video, I'm gonna do the cable management on the desk so that I can clean it up and make it look better. So for starters, I did not build this desk. I had a local custom furniture shop called House of Reed Custom Furniture build the desk for me. Now I've included a link to their Facebook page in the description below if you wanna check them out. They do really amazing work. Now for the desk itself, the wood top is solid maple with a poly oil finish on it. The base of the desk is made out of raw steel and there's a steel mesh privacy screen on the back. Now the guy who did the desk did something to the steel to give it the darker look it has now. I think he said he washed it in something, I wanna say it was a type of acid wash, but I don't remember exactly what the process was. But the whole idea behind the design of the desk was to give it an industrial look. So the worn looking steel definitely adds to that. Now those things alone make the desk pretty cool, but there is one unique feature on my desk that makes it stand out, and that is that it has a triple monitor lift built onto it. So essentially, with the lift in the door, I can hide my monitors beneath my desk if I want to. In reality, I have the monitors in the up position about 90% of the time, but having the ability to drop them down below my desk allows me to do front-facing intros on some of my videos. The monitor lift is actually just a single heavy duty TV lift that has a triple monitor arm attached to it. Ultimately, I'll probably be using this desk for the rest of my life, and I like the idea knowing that there aren't too many others out there that are like it. So now really, I just need to finally get in there and clean up the cables. Now the cable management process is going to be a little bit trickier since the monitors do lift up and down, and so the monitor cables will have to have some slack to accommodate for that but I think I have a solution for that, which you'll see in just a moment. But with that being said, I'm gonna leave you here, and if you want to watch me do the cable management process, you can stick around. In any case, let me know what you think of the desk in the comments below, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing to our channel. It really helps us out. Also, if you get a chance, go check out the House of Reed Custom Furniture Facebook page. Again, I'm gonna start rerunning the cables on the desk now, but I'll see you all next time.